Hey guys, this is Hades Design. What's up? Today I'm gonna show you and uh, the how to make the lightning circles and uh, create cool light effects in Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. I'm gonna use Photoshop CS6 extended version. Uh, you can do that by simple in simple version also. So let me show you how to make it. First of all, I have made some gradient. Uh, like that. Uh, let me show you from start. So we're gonna start by filling the black in here, and uh, now I'm gonna do some gradient on it. Create a new layer, select gradient, go to the center, and uh, make a gradient like this. Extend it. Okay, now it looks cool. Now make another layer, select the brush tool, set hardness to 0 and the opacity to around 25. Now brush the whole layer like this and do it again. I want to make sure it is black enough to show the light circles like okay. So this one looks good. I'm gonna merge all three layers. Okay, create a new layer now. Now we are going to select the uh, so selecting tool and we are going to select the elliptical mark tool. Uh, so make sure you press shift and uh, make a circle selection. Drag it into the center. Okay, this looks good. Now I'm gonna select the brush tool, set the hardness to 100% and uh, opacity to 100% too. And make sure to do it in center. Okay, the size is good enough. Okay, now I'm gonna select the white color. Okay. Do it from the center only. Okay, let's click it. Now we have a circle, and uh, I'm gonna approximately select this circular area like this. Okay, so it fit in. Now, what we are going to do is make uh, some kind of shadow like uh, above it. Now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to select the shadow of this light circle. To do that, we are going to get this circle in center. Okay. Uh, now select the brush tool, set the hardness to zero percent, reduce the opacity around thirty-four. Select white only. Reduce the size of it, the brush tool and uh, paint it like this. Oh, I forgot to make it inverse. Uh, select the tool, right click, and select inverse. Now repeat the process. Okay, it's going good. Make sure the, that uh, you paint it equally on each side of circle. Okay, this looks good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the white portion from inside. So, select inverse. Now, the inside portion is selected and press delete to delete the inside portion. Okay, now we are going to repeat that process for inside the inside shadow and make a selection and keep it to the center okay it's good uh, hmm. now select the brush tool again and brush it inside slowly to 
get the lighting shadow effect. Okay, so now as you can see, we have made we have made a circular lighting. Uh, you can see here. Now we're going to we can also color it, but uh, first of all we are going to see how to make this kind of things. Uh, press Ctrl T to select it. Uh, you can move it and uh, I'm gonna uh, resize it like a big circle place it in the center okay it looks cool it's good enough and uh, now I'm gonna show you how to make it colorful press a uh, new layer and uh, press alter and keep your mouse in between the two layers so you can see this this type of icon click it so it will create layer 7 clipping mask of layer 6 and then now select the brush tool and uh, try to get the color whichever color you want i'm gonna get here blue color kind of light blue okay uh, resize it and uh, so, uh, decrease the opacity to 30 i think 30 will be good now brush it okay so if you want the more darker color you can brush it again like this and uh, if you want more dark brush it again i'm gonna repeat it okay now it looks like a blue light thing it looks quite good and, uh, I'm gonna make a duplicate layer of layer 6. You can do it by pressing Alter and dragging it downwards. And, uh, change the position, and resize it. I'm gonna make a little small circle here. Press Shift so it will be in circular form only. Place it in the center. Okay, this looks quite good. I'm gonna color it with uh, kind of a yellow color. Okay, and select uh, one more layer and create clipping mask of it. Select it and uh, select the brush tool and get the uh, yellow color. I think I will go with the orange one. Okay, this looks good. Brush it, brush it again, okay, and you repeat it until you get your color. Okay, this looks cool you can make uh, other circles other shapes too like triangular line now that by this uh, let me show you some more images i've made from this okay you know you can make your logo too like this i've made mm, it looks quite good you can try different type of things with this tool and uh, it can be done on only by brush tool and doesn't require any plugins or all that so thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe thanks a lot